My name is Andre Fuyun. I own Woodstock Brewery and one of the partner uh, or founding partners of Mother Soup Project. My name is Adam Kane Smith. I am a member of the Great Commission United not for profit organization. Going into lockdown, we had a reasonably good idea of how bad it would get. Alcohol sales would stop with level five hard lockdown. You know, the restaurant business was pretty much done for, for the foreseeable future. Sat for a while and thought, and I ended up volunteering at a, at a friend's soup kitchen. Having worked there for a day, we, the, the, the penny dropped and we sort of realized that we could, you know, use our cooking capacity to do very, very large volumes of nutritious soup. In June last year, Great Commission United partnered with the Mother Soup Project to add some distribution and fundraising capacity to, to that project. There are a lot of people that live close to or below the breadline. And what we've aimed to do is try and provide an inexpensive, nutritious, usable by all in that it's vegetarian feeding solution using the brewing technology, which is designed to be very clean and relatively large scale. If you're able to feed a child before he starts his day at school, you're going to get much better application and concentration from that child. So the disruptive child is often the hungry child in these schools. And I'm sure that the same applies in a community. You know, if you're hungry, you can't contribute effectively to society. So we're dealing with a basic need and it's a basic need for a reason. It's because we need to be providing people with the, other, the ability to function in society. We were aiming initially at doing 2,000 litres of super batch. And within a few weeks, we were doing 6,000 litres of super batch. I think what Andre has done is stumbled upon something that is so much more efficient than anything anybody has been doing in the provision of food realm that we felt that we had to be part of it. We would have two shifts of up to 20 people a day processing vegetables in the beginning. And this was at a time when people had nothing to do. They were stuck at home. And quite soon after that, the Blue Ribbon Group, Premier Foods joined us and were able to donate bread to go along with the soup. We worked a lot on the recipe with um, food technologists, a dietitian, and the chefs. The, the soup that Andre's produced is produced extremely efficiently. I mean, we're talking about less than two rand a meal to produce the nearly 4 million meals that have been produced to date. When we started with, with the mayor's pilot project, we had, gosh, there, there must have been 20 or 30 soup kitchens. It was a running start that we took because the first 2,000 litres that we produced took us a long time to do, but it all went. Our partnership, which um, started in June, has evolved into one that sees GCU wanting to take Mother Soup into the future and way beyond a COVID crisis. If you can help us feed some people during the month, tell us the number of people you want to feed and we'll tell you how much that's going to cost. We'll do it cheaper than anybody else. For, for two rand a, a meal, they can very quickly calculate how many people they're feeding for their donation every month. And to know that your money is going very far thanks to the efficiency that's been achieved from what Andre has stumbled upon as an amazing way to give hot food, hot nutritious food to many, many people every day. I think the one thing that really stands out is it's the attitude that we address all the issues. And believe me, we've had many. And we've had our boiler break down several times. We've broken the, the, the one big tank that we use. It's got a big gearbox and big um, motor that drives it. We've completely smashed that to smithereens because for a brew, we usually put about 400 kilograms of dry matter in. And, and when we make soup, we were doing up to two tons. And we overloaded it when it was cold and learned that, that lesson quite quickly. To, to put a 50,000 Rand motor into beyond economic repair status in the matter of one cook does make one wonder a little. And then the overriding fallback has been, okay, relax. We don't know yet, but we've got this. Let's, let's get heads together and work this one out. I mean, my comment is, is made, uh, you know, the day after this horrendous fire has hit Cape Town. And I, 
on my community WhatsApp group, I'm seeing just this massive outpouring by people who, you know, they look up into the sky and can see this plume of smoke and they can read the stories about libraries burning and people being moved out of their reses and their homes. And it's just unbelievable how people are wanting to give, whether it's making sandwiches or taking water to these firefighters. I think what we're about is providing exactly that kind of support, despite the fact that there's no plume of smoke and big headline in the paper. The people who we feed are there every day, um, and they're in need of the support every day. And, and I, what I'm seeing on social media is how people are so appreciative of their ability to make a contribution to this fire effort. What we provide at Mother Soup is the ability to provide that kind of relief every day. South Africa has its problems, but if you have a look at the outpouring that, that we've seen, as Adam has mentioned, we're also, there are a lot of great people and we've got a lot to fight for and we've got to do our best because we need to feed people when they're learning. We need to create a basic infrastructure that you know, facilitates a, a life worth living for everyone. And yeah, this is a small part um, of the contribution, what we're doing. And everybody, I mean, South Africans are innovative. We can all find our ways to help. Um, just have compassion and, uh, and yeah. Put your hand up. Don't be scared to put your hand up. Think of something and off we go. Booyah, you see a booyah, yeah.